Hello everybody and welcome back to another movie review. I do know that it has been quite some time since I've done one of these. However, I have been out on child bounty time and before we actually leave for another state to visit family, I was able to catch up on one singular movie uh, to go ahead and post on here. And today we'll be, of course, discussing Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Hello there and good evening, ladies and gentlemen and children. Now, if you are a fan of the original Beetlejuice like me, obviously you know the same feeling as I do of wanting a sequel for so many years. Now, with that in mind, though, the director coming back is, of course, Tim Burton, which is fantastic. When Nona Ryder only was able to get Michael Keaton to come into uh, making a sequel, and that was only if he didn't win an Oscar for a specific film, uh, which he did not, and I believe that was Birdman if I'm not mistaken. I do know that that came out years and years ago. However, I do believe that was a film where when Nona Ryder uh, mentioned Michael Keaton that if you don't get an Oscar for this film, then you need to make a sequel, which I don't believe he did. So with that in mind, uh, he came back and provided us the opportunity to, of course, see him as Beetlejuice once more. And this film, of course, is directed by Tim Burton. The writers are actually new. They're not the same writers from the original script. Uh, so the writers are Alfred Goh, Miles Miller, uh, or Miles Millar, uh, Seth Graham Smith. And obviously, the majority of the cast is back from the original film. Um, now we do have some new characters as well. We have Michael Keaton, of course, coming back as Beetlejuice, Winona Ryder coming back as Lydia Dietz. Um, then you have Catherine O'Hare coming back for uh, as Delilah. Now you do have Jenna Ortega coming back as Astrid, who is, of course, uh, Lydia Dietz's daughter. Um, then you do have Justin Theroy coming. Uh, he plays Rory. Will Willem Dafoe plays Wolf Jackson. Uh, Monica Bellucci plays Dolores. Um, which, of course, if you know anything about this channel, uh, the little short videos that I do, those won't have any spoilers, but this review will. Uh, so potential spoilers, so spoiler warning. Um, Monica, who plays Dolores, is Beetlejuice's ex-wife, which is one of the best things that we get about this film. Is a little bit more of a backstory for Beetlejuice, exactly where he came from, the type of individual he was. Uh, Dolores was a... Um, a cult leader where, of course, Beetlejuice was known to be a grave robber. Um, she, of course, married him and she wanted to sacrifice him, but he was able to kill her before she was, uh, I was kind of, it was kind of mixed in between, um, between both of them, basically not really unaliving themselves, but basically passing away at the same time. Um, you do have Arthur Conti, who plays Jeremy. Um, and then, surprisingly, you do have Danny DeVito, who plays a surprising cameo as a janitor in this film. Now, the one thing that I will say is, of course, we do not get the original actor who plays the father coming back. Um, that is obviously uh, going to be Jeffrey Jones, who plays Charles. Uh, though Charles is in the film, you find out that he has passed away um, from a shark attack, and you honestly just see the bottom half of his body. So I don't know why um, Jeffrey Jones didn't come into this film, but he's not in it. Um, they do do a claymation of how he did pass away, which is funny and unique as well. I haven't really seen that, though it's very Tim Burton-esque. Now, you may be asking yourselves whether or not, whereas, you know, Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis, uh, who plays both Adam and uh, Barbara. Now, they are not in this film, unfortunately. However, of course, Lydia does make mention about them finding a loophole and being able to go on to the afterlife. So, a kind of little backstory there, they do mention to that. Um, but as far as the original character goes, those are the original and some of the new ones as well. When it comes to the overall storytelling, it's honestly reminiscent. It's not reminiscent of the first one, but it's a good sequel. It's not better than the first film, but it's a good follow up. It's a good follow up to the point where you could still watch it during Halloween or any other time and still enjoy the rest of the film. Um, it's not one of those where it's a good follow up, but there are bits and pieces of it that you may not like. Um, obviously, it's Tim Burton, so everything is. Uh, cinematography wise um animation wise 
um, CGI or special effects in general, it's all Tim Burton-esque. So it's wonderful, it's phenomenal. I'm so glad that they were able to do this film because like I said, it's a good follow-up to the original. It's not better than the original, but you will not be disappointed at the same time. I didn't really find anything that I didn't like about the film. Um, maybe there is too many things going on at once. However, at the same time, is it still didn't take away from it's getting your attention, really, as far as the storyline goes and as far as the journey that it wanted to take you because throughout the whole film is very entertaining. Um, maybe the boyfriend to um, Astrid where you find out that she does see ghosts as well. Uh, he was kind of like a throwaway character, but it's a good way to show that she's able to see ghosts as well. Um, again, there you can nitpick this film, but the more that you do, the more that you may not like it. Overall, I will say just go ahead and watch it. Go ahead and watch it as a sequel with that in mind that it's not really um, better than the original, but it's still really good follow-up to it and won't be disappointed. Um, the, the best part about this film that I will say is you do see a partnership between Lydia and Beetlejuice. They do team up, which is something that you don't really see unless if you go back to the Beetlejuice cartoon back if uh, when you were a kid in the 90s, which I did watch. So seeing that partnership, seeing that team up was very reminiscent of that. Um, now, whether or not if you want to see go to go see it in theaters or wait till it goes on streaming, either way, you'll be fine. I saw it in theaters, but you won't be missing it if you don't get a chance to see it in theaters and you want to wait at home. So overall, it's a great film. Watch it regardless of where you see it. Um, and if you do like the review, please leave a comment down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, make sure you follow us on all social platforms, and we'll see you guys next time for the next review. Mm.